The 4080 Ti, people are barely getting 3080s. Why is this stuff floating around already? Why is Nvidia even worried about a 4080 Ti? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today we're gonna to be talking about some GPU news. More specifically, the 4080 Ti. Now, I don't know why this is floating around the interwebs right now. I really have no clue why this is something that Nvidia is really even letting get out there. I mean, this is kind of a leak thing, so maybe it wasn't intentional, but I also think that they should probably have their focus elsewhere. I know you gotta to look toward the future, but I don't know. I feel like they've got a lot of issues with the current. Just my opinion, but who am I? I don't know, who am I? And before you try to jump down my throat, just know I am aware the 3080 Ti is not out yet and the 30 series supers are not out yet. And the, it's, it's really difficult to even get a hold of the regular 30 series cards. I know, trust me. I know, I do. But nonetheless, being that the fact that it is, I am a tech channel and well, I gotta talk about it. So let's look at the leaks. I've got some information about it. Let's get into it. According to videocards.com, it looks like we could be seeing the 4080 Ti already being leaked, going under the codename Lovelace AD102. Now, according to other leaks that we've seen in other news and sources, NVIDIA is planning on moving to a five nanometer process for their next round of graphics cards. So with that in mind, it appears that we could very well be seeing one of the top end GPUs of next generation. Looking at the current top card for NVIDIA, the 3090, we have a streaming processor count of 84, but in this new proposed graphics card, we're looking at a streaming processor count of 144. Putting this all together, it looks like we can expect to have 18,432 CUDA cores in this new graphics card. Now, because this is such a huge jump, we could expect to see a massive performance increase, but more hardware doesn't always translate one-to-one -one for scaling. So looking at this, we see that it, this is about 70% of an increase in cores. But of course, that doesn't mean that we'll get 70% more performance. Now, a tweet from 3dcenter.org and Copite Kimmy appear to suggest that this new card being deemed as the 4080 Ti will have a 12 by six structure along with some series hardware packed into the card, giving us a monstrous uplift. It almost seems like it could possibly be too much for a gaming GPU, but with things going the way they are and have continued to go this year, and with AMD closing in with their graphics cards, Nvidia may be trying to go all in on this next round of GPUs. And it's really hard to say what we can expect to see from the 30 series super cards, as Nvidia hasn't really let us know what we have in store. Now, hang with me here because this is just a bit of a theory craft of mine, but I believe that Nvidia could possibly take a play from AMD on their Zen 3 architecture performance boost and apply it to the GPU space. If you could combine the FP32 cores and have them on the same block instead of having them divided, you could see a reduction in latency boosting the IPC much like AMD did with the 5000 series CPUs. A move like this, assuming it's even possible, would allow you to see the 70% increase, if not more. This is just a theory craft of mine, so don't at me. Keep in mind this is leaked information, so nothing is final just yet. And I will of course have the links in the description if you'd like to check out this information for yourself. It's 
kind of crazy for me to see this next generation of cards having so much hardware thrown into it. It kind of really makes me feel that Nvidia is trying to make sure AMD does not get close to them in the next gen of cards like they did this generation. Because I mean, you know, if we look at it for what it is and we take away ray tracing, AMD and Nvidia, they're not too different of a card this, this round. And I know Nvidia is not liking that. So it really feels like they're trying to make sure that, well, this next go around, that's not gonna be the case. I don't know what's gonna happen. AMD may surprise us again. I really don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think's going on here? I, I'm really hoping this doesn't turn into a situation where graphics cards and CPUs are trying to do the iPhone model where there's a new model every single year. I, I think that's gonna be bad for people's wallets. It's gonna be bad for mine. I know that. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's gonna do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate, ask. I don't mind helping, I promise. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. I hope you wanna be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. It goes so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to make content and grow. With that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.